Oh yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Get fucked up. Hi, one for AAA. I don't think you've touched upon this theme yet, but I hope the emotional implications of my questions still make it suitable for your show. In short, how to deal with right-wing bullies at work. So a few years ago, I started a new job and became quite clear early on that I was working with a few racist scumbags. After first uh, lightly challenging people and letting slip my anti-fascist activities, the target then became me. I think initially trying to people's uh, friends, not challenging people, saying racist crap and being too light-hearted gave the green light for shirt shit to continue and get worse rather than them stopping. I am politically isolated and then the power imbalance of first having to learn about the job gave them the advantage. The makeup of the people, two outright Tommy Robinson supporters, one old racist fucker, one bully who uses my politics to do so, just these four people shaped the politics atmosphere in a workplace of 25. The effect of this bullying has been that sometimes I pull sickies just so I couldn't have to see someone. So it was just so I wouldn't have to see someone. It's been detrimental to my confidence as a whole, and one incident where my physical safety was put in danger by someone at work. The diversity of people you might see as allies are non-existing here. If you don't like football and don't have a missus, you're an outsider. In the years I've worked here, I've learned you can't compromise your beliefs and pretend not to hear things. When debating with people, you have to call out personal attacks as a result of not having a fully formed argument. Even writing this out and thinking about things over the past few years has made it clear to me that they were bullying me and fuck these dickheads. I really look forward to what you have to say and hope you can help anybody in a similar situation. You absolute fucking babe, man. I just like wanna hug you. Hug you and kill your co-workers. Kill your co-workers, but also just like Do you know how fucking difficult it is to stay still like in your positions like that when all of this pressure is behind you. I'm thinking again like about my Russian relatives and all that stuff, how they succumb to shitty politics just because everyone else does. And so this person is not doing that. Yeah, and you've been there for years. Like you didn't leave after a month, which is what I would have done. Like that well, is but then but that's the thing, the obvious, and that's probably what you think, the obvious answer is she's like, oh, just change the jobs. But like, there must be a reason why that's not happening, right? Because like, it is clearly probably either it's a small place, either like, there must be something that's stopping them yeah. from that. But also like, from the makeup, it sounds like it's possibly like, maybe I'm just making a judgment, but like, a very like, working class, work environment. Well, exactly, yeah, Which yeah. means they possibly can't leave for financial reasons or whatever, like, which I understand. So there are <sighs> two ways of answering this, right? Like the first one, and I think, the thing is that I think you're probably gonna know a lot of the ways we're gonna tackle this is that like so I'm a big believer and an organizer in the trade union movement and I think basic and I know for a fact that bullying at work is something that the good trade unions do take very seriously and if there is a way for you to have that conversation you know, with the union and them to, uh, to, to to impose that on your boss then that would be fucking brilliant however I also fully understand the limitations of that because like your boss would be like hey so i have 24 guys that love me do work for me and like probably align with my politics and then this guy is like kind of like creating trouble here saying that this is not an okay work it is actually illegal though like, what the fuck discrimination based on political beliefs is is legal and like if you wanted to you would actually be able to take a lawsuit against the no but then they would say it's a discrimination against our political beliefs okay when, okay if we're talking strategy keep a diary of all the times that you're mistreated by them, Good idea. just do this in the like medium term, no matter what our advice is, because it might come to a head and you will need evidence. And if keep you a, can record it as well, yeah. sound recordings? Sound recordings, keep a diary of encounters, of you know words said, of being left out of maybe a group project or something, like being missed for a promotion, all of these things. Keep a ongoing diary, try and also backdate it as much as you can, because that will be, if it ever comes to tribunal situation, that will be killer. Yeah. So just, just keep doing that anyway eventually i feel like this is going towards the tribunal as is and and i i think there is a lot of chance with that especially since they are taking harassment at work way more more and more seriously yeah. so yeah if you can have a log of these things and memos you know memos so you literally post yourself a letter with this sort mm -hmm. of thing you know so that would be incredibly important so yeah get those fuckers you know get them on however again it's just like Okay, so I'll tell you a story that happened to me quite recently at like Shadow Basin. I was just bathing there and um, I don't know, had my like bikini on, is what it is, but most people do. And there was this gang of like, well, I say gang is just like, whatever. It's just like, uh, there was a group of people, like about 15 of them, well, no, about 12, of like kids, like I'd say 12 to 16 year olds. Um, 
and two of them became like violently violently ugh, began utilizing language towards me that was quite violent um quite violently misogynistic literally saying to their friends two meters next to me about how they would rape me in these sort of ways and what they would do to my body uh, I mean, again, they were kids and I, you know, didn't have much to do except for move to the other part of the particular space, you know. But what what happened is that I realized that there were two people that were instigating this and then the rest were, yeah. you know, the, the rest were following because that, that's that's their status quo. That's what I was thinking. It was of 25, right? And this is four people. That means there's 20 potential people to who, whose minds you can change you know what so again the way that you change the culture in the workplace is that you create an alternative that is more fun i mean again that's a lot of work but is there a way for you to uh invite the good guys to a pub maybe do buy a couple of rounds invite them to like curry dinners basically get the other 20 people to for you to be the politics of seduction you know and, and uh, for you to be the guy that is actually attractive where you introduce them to class interests like uh, to, to the idea of class interests and and who you know knew, at the end of the day it is not again the migrant or the woman or whatever that are improving one's material conditions or like this, sorry, affecting one's material conditions. It is through class organizing and trade unionism and, and sort of that class solidarity where we can create those differences. Yeah, and also in low medium term, if you don't feel like, um, like I think that's very important to do, but I also think to be able to bring up those issues, like befriending in a casual sense, just as you, and not the, and I'm not saying hide your political views, but like you, you have other interests, like be it sport, be it video games, be it gardening, be it knitting, like talking like yeah going out for pizza with some of the other co-workers maybe in a group of two or three or four or whatever yeah. and like talking about your other things making them like you because even yeah. if they don't know your politics if they like you as a person they're much less likely to let this happen like i don't know what your relationship with the other 20 you seem to, you you speak as if they are kind of irrelevant but are influenced by these guys probably they're also fucking scared by these guys at least some yeah. of them like they're not a mass of 20 the same people like they're scared or they're vulnerable or they just want to get on with their job but you can make them your friend you can give them a lift home you can buy them a drink if they look sad you can you know have a chat by the water cooler like you can make yourself a person who is the f a friend and then you can use that to create an alternative narrative in the office yeah. and like yeah even go as far as what Mariam says and actually like yeah organize against them because but you need allies sadly you can either leave and like do the tribunal yeah. method or you need allies in the workplace yeah Oh my god, this is... And when I left that space at the end, you know, after being so um, useless at... Ch well, not useless, but like... What are you meant to do with the kids, though? Well, you but I will, be, I will be lying if I said that I didn't plan to get that to happen to them, actually. Because, like, they need to be afraid. Like, they fucking need to yeah. be afraid. So some... Okay, there's a dark side... Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Um, Pass, the, pass on details about them to some local anti-fascist network. I am not inciting anything here. I'm just saying that this sort of... They are fascists. They're, they're fascist. fascist supporters. They're, they're fascists. fascists. And they need to be challenged. Yes. So if there's a way to do that... Yeah, I agree. Like, there are anonymous ways of doing that, you know, and there are ways of, of really... Uh, make them be aware that that's not the sort of thing to do. Yeah, it doesn't have to be anything connected with you. No. I mean, there's another Tory Robinson demo coming up in another month. 23rd, I think. 24th. 24th? Yeah. Maybe they'll be there. Maybe we should know their places. Maybe. And on that note, I'm hoping that was... Yeah, I mean, short but sweet. Like, I mean, I don't feel like we're saying anything that, yeah. Yeah, that you haven't thought about. No, like... You're, like you're fucking yeah. fucked like that's really fucking yeah. bad either try and build a support network try and take a, an actual employment like dispute up yeah. um, with evidence therefore the diary situation or leave which I understand is possibly not possible but yeah or there or are... are we allowed to say that? no okay can you cut that then can you bleep it out? yeah that would be funny or beep yeah fine great <laughs>